Max. All right, guys, we're back for episode two. Why Arvis? Of life is strange. Because of her images of hopeless faces. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. Oh God, he's gonna say selfie expression again. Photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that guy did it again? It's no better. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Daguerreotypes. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Melissa class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Gosh, she's still a bitch. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? <laughs> Hold RT to rewind faster. Oh. Why are you holding your hand up like that? Okay, how do you stop it? Right button? Jiggle, jiggle. No, wait. No. Okay. Oh, I have to watch it. That smug girl will be a... Okay. Okay, let's just go... Max. Okay, we have to go all the way back. Our interest and clearly want to join the conversation. Can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, the Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> yeah. The <Daguerrean> process <laughs> Suck it. Are hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you ask. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? This will be the weirdest journal. The weirdest journal entry I will ever make. So weird, I don't know how or where to start. It all started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse until I came to the edge of the cliff. Then I saw a giant tornado headed for Acadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging my face. Oh. And I was scared shitless. Then a boat hit the lighthouse, and I swear I actually felt like I was going to die. But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson's class, and I wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called on me, but I totally blew the answer. Of course, Victoria pounced on me and made me feel look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful. Then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo for the Everyday Hero Contest, while Victoria did her usual suck-up to Jefferson. He's so cool, and he clearly wants me to succeed. Uh, let's go all the way back. This episode, it's gonna be me reading a diary of a 17 year old girl? What's this? Okay, so we got. There's Kate. Oh, wow. So one? Yeah, okay. I got. I, oh, 18! No, that was close. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Thanks, Dad. Kate. Hey Max, you're around always. You okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely, I'll be free after four. TTYL! Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. That's a nice, you know, mom and dad sending happy birthday texts. Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study, please. Make sure you check our neck romantic on my flash drive. Wahaha. <laughs> hey Mac, hey Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test. So if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Come on, Max, you need to appreciate that. Don't ignore this message. Max, don't be such a... Actually finish reading the assignment. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Should we... Let's read a little bit. How... Where's your journal? Journal? No. Journal? Actual journal. Journal? There we go. No. There we go. I know how to play video games. 
July 10th, 2013, I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. She's probably very excited about that. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy, a unique and famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally, literally feel my pulse speed up. What? You got a text message saying you got accepted to a private school? Like, they don't send letters? I thought I was going to say sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird. Haha, <laughs> they're so weird. But they're happy and that means extra financial su- Oh, wait, but they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. Mm-mm. We'll come back and read a little bit more of that. Max is so far away ahead of that. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. But... But look, I want to look at her camera. She'll have better equipment than Black. No, oh, you're using the same... I can't take photos of that now. He's turning in a photo, so... You see the dilemma? Can I... Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time. Your to lips weren't moving. Them. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Also, this teacher's really picking favorites. I don't think don't that's right. Okay, press. Oh. Bonk. I only want to share whatever gifts I have. What's like, uh, Just speak to him again, Mr. Jefferson. Let's go a little bit forward. Let's go a little bit forward. Oh. On top of it. Let's throw that right back in your face. Said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Yeah. That's right. You'd like... Oh, let's go talk to... See if we can talk to Kate and see if she's okay. She wants to get coffee with us. What's nice going on, Kate? Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um... Uh, did My we name talk is at Kate. all today? This is the first time. I have no emotion. I'm sorry. I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. Bye, Kate. Victoria's such a bitch. Alright, well. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I'm gonna pee my pants. I can't pants. tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Wait. Hold right trigger to move faster. Daniel, you remember that it's payday? <laughs> yeah, Sorry, Farmer. payday. I know you didn't forget you owe us cash. I forgot for what? Oh, for making so sure good. nobody kicks your ass. <laughs> yes, <laughs> your ass. <laughs> Seriously, leave me alone. You're not the boss, right? bro. You know I don't tease. Okay, what was this guy's name? Trevor. Oh, she likes Trevor. Who's Warren? I can't let that girl die in the bathroom. Why look at him? He can't help you. Well, I wanted to know who he was! Oh my god, okay, where is the bathroom? The bathroom's over here? Let's go. Bang. 
Okay, Max, retrace every step. So I looked at the face and then I, I washed, washed my, my face. face. Okay, yeah. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. It's the butterfly effect, you see. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You know now what do you do? Who fuck I am or who you're messing around with? Where'd you get that? Oh, an emergency break glass. It's an emergency. This is an emergency. What? It, it has something. Oh my god, that's convenient. Okay, come on, pick it up. Oh! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Okay, you are not affected by the rewind. Tell me. Okay, how do I. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm Hammer. Sick of people trying to control me. No way. Don't Newman balls. Me again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not. Freak out. That is... Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. What? Use for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. What a dick. So everyone left anyways? Like, how do you know there's no emergency, Mr. Principal? I assume you're Mr. Principal. Print Wells. Principal Wells always Wells. so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? His head moving. It's, it's, it's looking so weird with the outline. It's great. <laughs> okay. You look a little stressed Ooh. out. Are you okay? I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. I can turn back time. Or have you done something wrong? But that's what? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh, this is tense. Um, you know, that kid's crazy. He said he was going to blow up the school and he shot somebody in the past timeline. I'm just saying. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. You probably should. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? No, I'm sticking with it. You won't be able to undo your choices after leaving this area. Well... No, I'm sticking with it. If you shoot someone, it's on you, weird wavy head. On you. Go to the main campus.
Ethan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. There we go. The principal's going for it. Let's talk with Miss Grant. Miss Grant, you're the science te teacher you ever heard. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me. A rewinding me. time. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Is Miss Grant speaking in the third person here? Miss Grant sure, has a petition to sign to for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. But let's talk to... David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Um, I don't think that's how it worked out, though. Let's, uh, let's talk about the Native, Native Americans. Americans. The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Again. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, Will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? But... I don't like Mrs. Grant, but we'll sign it. Absolutely. Because I, I don't like Mr. Security, Madsen more. But not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Mrs. Grant likes you! This action will have consequences. I hope I made the right decision about the petition. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. What up, Hayden? Who are you? There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Let's talk to hey, Hayden. Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What is the Vortex Club? Let's yeah, let's talk about this. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Hang with the Vortex Club? You hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. It does. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. But you, let's talk about Nathan Prescott. You really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems crazy. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk about Rachel, too. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Those trees behind him are really bugging me. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Uh, Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace? Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No. I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. What is get my chemical on and study? What does that mean? What? 
I am not that old. <laughs> Come on. It's just... Well, I got a text message from Warren. Let's open the journal. Hi, Max. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info on space. Hello? Whoa! Okay. That... Hello? Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's read, uh... October 7th. Nope. No, let's read August 18, and then that'll be in the end of the episode. We'll work our way through these journal entries soon, hopefully. I just don't want to spend 10 minutes reading. August 18, 2013, so this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too, it's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography, for, out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends, but I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable, au contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson, sigh, insert hearts and flowers. Plus there will be cool diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I've never really found a groove with my classmates, or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Oh dear! All right. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Yeah, we'll we'll get to that in the next episode. I think we'll carry on playing some Life is Strange. I'm uh, I'm really digging this so far. Let's take a photo of this. Snap. Oh. Can I see it? How do I? Can I? There we go. Rachel and Amber forever. I can't look at it. Okay, that's alright. Cool. Yeah, we'll come back uh, next time for episode 3. We'll carry on and uh, go to the dorm and meet Warren and read some more... Read some more journal entries of an 18-year-old girl. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. So insane. Everything is happening Wait. Too fast. Well, maybe we'll... And Maybe I shouldn't have sat down. Any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. It'd be a pretty cool ability. I have to find out why. Little drone there. Do I get up by pressing? Oh, I get up by pressing B. Okay, well, that'll be it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.